can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? That would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. Miners, left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right, this was an atrocity, but she blamed the wrong man. Here's our way. I can't see it. Where?
falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, have you? The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself and hope ran out. But someone stole this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look. The mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen, maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre, something more elaborate. But what and why? Sebastian is a doll, stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker.
Don't let it crush you. soon be out together little boy and me would appreciate you staying close I know the stink is long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. Again, saw the sun. The thought scares you. No. We're getting close. If you need a breather, we can do it here. I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. me here to rot. They'll not have me. Chains. An echo, I think. <laughs> I 
These roots are too strong to be removed. I wasn't going to try my hand at them anyway. A ghost left a fragment of their past here. presence gives it life. That woman he jailed. Could this be all her? Her anger that binds it all. Remember the ghost who manifested out of the beast? Kate wet herself. She called her Deborah. Another ghost channeling the wrath of lesser specters. Can't be a coincidence. Can you see it? Not yet. I hear you. Pennington. Have you returned, Captain? At long last. Will you free me? What happens if we do? Then I will crawl and climb and knock, and the captain will taste his own medicine. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken body, locked away, forgotten, down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her freely. If we 
do. Will you talk with us? Here it comes. Call on me, Red. You are all to blame for this! Shake, this is useless. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. I can handle this on my own. You pay 
of taking care of them. I can see the weaker links. Rid of all of you. No! 
next time.
It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? The worst of men. Oh. When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, the faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but the woman Pennington locked up is at the root of it all. So what now? Pennington had Deborah locked up screaming. When she was dead, he ignored her. He's a disgrace. But Helen Priest is enthralled to a trickster spirit. She can't be trusted either. But eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs> Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. Why 
This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Tomb blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness, which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly, it's gone. Aye, the puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Get excited. You're still up to your neck and shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future and the future of many depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess our led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that I'll confess and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt, a deeper fear. Captain, why did you send Sebastian Priest down the mine? I knew quarantine would be trying. A competent commander was required to keep order, keep them alive long enough to recover. I chose my lieutenant. I erred. He was not competent. All died. Your husband was no hero, Mrs. Priest. You murdered him and now you take his honour too. Another nail in your well-earned coffin, Captain. So Helen, thing is... Not now. She's not ready. We return with answers to find you in full mutiny. Why now, Helen? Sebastian returned, disturbed. I thought he'd left you dead in the mines. Your mission had failed. I could no longer wait. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. At last the die stopped rolling my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. You acted irrationally. You blamed the plague on a witch, yet applied a quarantine. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Sebastian's sway over Helen is dangerous. If she takes charge, so does he. But Pennington is depraved and merits no saving. What's your thinking?
Though you and your pistol mean well, Mrs. Priest, you do not understand the power that guides you. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. How Marif, how Gunjo. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the Nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. We need the money. We have enough. Leave me alone. Do you think only of yourself? Because no one else will. You're angry, can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more disgusted. Disgusted by what we saw down there. But what Pennington and his cowardice allowed to happen. I hope they'll burn in hell. For that, I hate myself. Nothing can stand between us. Not even death. Not even death? The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were my own. I know her rage, but that anger of mine that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. Past is the past. You still get to choose your future. Times like this, old wounds can ache. Seems normal. 
It's not just that. I thought I'd healed. I feel like I'd taken ten steps backwards. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister? Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. Are you sure it was a dream? Is that why you left the schoolhouse without me? Yes. It must have been a dream. She wasn't there. I mean, how could she have been there? But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? The nightmare, perhaps? I don't think so. The nightmare felt close. This felt like it came from further away. As if from a different realm of being altogether. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. No. Not even death. Still angry? Gloriously.